In this video, I'm going to show you how to cite the sources you found for your art history research. Art historians customarily use um, Chicago style um, to cite their sources. And this is the Chicago Manual of Style, 17th edition. And this is the current style manual. But you don't need to buy this because we've created some tools for you that will help you cite the sources you're most likely to find and use for this class. So let me show you them. I'm on the Art 102 online guide. If I click the Works Cited tab, it's going to take me to um, another web page, and I'm going to select Chicago because this is the citation style that you're going to use. This has taken me to an external website um, run by, the, by Purdue University. It's their online writing lab, otherwise known as the OWL. And this is a great school because they make citation guides for the entire United States, pretty much. So if I scroll down and look on the left-hand side, I can see some common examples of the kinds of things you're likely to cite for the class. So the first thing I'll show you is a book. So let's say you found a book um, for your topic, and now you need to figure out how to put it in the bibliography. So what you need to do is find the information that's listed here on your book, and then you're going to use this to create your citation. So for my example today, I'm going to cite this book called Understanding Picasso. So the first thing I do is I copy the model so I know what information I need to find and look for it on my book. So I need to know the last name and first name of the author of the book, and you can find that information on the book's title page. This is the book's title page right here. Oops. Okay. Um, and so the author of this book is um, Domenico Port. Portio, and you put last name for first. Okay. The title of the book, as I said before, is Understanding Picasso. And that's right up here, right? The place of publication can also be found either on the title page or what we call the verso, which is simply the back of the title page. So this book was published in New York. The publisher is Newsweek Books, so unfortunately this is not a scholarly um, book. And then the year publication is on the back of the title page on the verse show, and it's 1974. When I look at my example, I can see that the title of the book should be in italics, so all I need to do is put this in italics, and then I have a citation for a book according to Chicago style. Now, for journal articles, honestly, the easiest thing to do is to get them the citation from the database where you got the journal article. So here's an article about Picasso. When I click over here, it's going to take me to the citation. Oops, let me give it a second. Right? Scroll down, and I'm going to copy it and put it on my page. Now, when you're dealing with citations that are created by a computer, um, sometimes they're not perfect, so what you need to do is compare the citation you got from the website with an example. So when I scroll down on the left-hand side, I see periodicals. Journal articles are a type of periodical. And I can see here B is like what it's going to look like in the bibliography, right? I used an electronic journal, so I want to look at that example, right? So let me copy that example and put it above the one I just got, right? So I have last name, comma, first name for the author, which I have right here, right? Um, and then you can see the difference, right? So in the one I pulled from the database, it has the date here, but in in Chicago 17, the date goes somewhere else, so I need to move this, so I'm going to cut this, right? So I have the title of my article right here. I have the name of the journal in, in italics along with the volume and issue. Then I need to put the year of, um, so volume and then number, which is issue. Then I need to put the year of publication. Colon, then the page number, 
um, and then the DOI, right? The digital object identifier. And it is also saying that I need to, you don't need to put the um, access date unless your instructor requires it, right? So that's how I took um, a citation from a database and fixed it to meet Chicago style now. Okay. Now, the other thing that you guys are probably going to do is you're probably going to look at examples of paintings. Um, and so this is, I found a Picasso painting on the Los Angeles County Museum of Art website. And I'm going to use this painting in my uh, paper. I'm going to talk about it. And so I'm going to need to cite it. So if I'm back on the um, OWL page, if I look under miscellaneous sources, it will tell me how to cite lectures, visual arts, which is, you know, a painting. And so in this situation, it's going to look like this, but according to Chicago style, I also need to indicate a URL um, because I found it online. So so I can get the information um, for the citation by looking at the metadata or the information about the painting provided by the LACMA, right? So I have the painter, I have the title of the work, I have when it was painted, I have the, the um, what it was made out of, so oil on canvas, also its dimensions, and I know that it's at LACMA. So if I go back, you can see I have last name, comma, first name of the, of the artist, the title of the work, the date it was created, the medium, right? So um, that it was oil on canvas, the dimensions, and then um, the location, and because this is um, something I saw online, the URL of the website where I viewed it. So I hope that tool helps you with your citations, but remember, if you get stuck, you can text or email me or the librarian on call, and if you get me, I have a copy of the book right at my house so I can look up how to cite almost anything. So good luck with your papers.